have a value here. Thanks to all your support, we just crossed 1,000 subscribers, which is a great achievement. So I'm really grateful to all your support, all the viewers. So we're heading for 2,000 subscribers, 5,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber and you're watching this video, please click on that subscribe button. It will help us get there quick. We just completed the thought management system. All right. So what's next? So we have some few apps that I want to show you how to build from start to finish. And the first one is the app that we've been featuring since about two months ago. That is the to do app with countdown timer. All right. So with this app, you can add in all your tasks and assign them a completion date. So now the application will look for the one that is the closest and then rank it up. That will be the most urgent one, all right? So if you have three tasks to do, one of them should be completed in a day, another one in two days, another one in 10 days. So the one that should be completed in a day will be on top. And then followed by one that should be completed in five days, then the one that should be completed in 10 days, so that you know which one should be done first. All right. So this will take us about five videos. It might be a little bit more than that based on your comments. So I keep adjusting features based on how much comments I'm getting. And if I have not thought of that feature and I receive a great comment about a certain feature that I think it might be a cool one to add, I usually add it in the, uh, in the videos before I complete the tutorial or the series. All right, so we're targeting about five videos for that. So after that, we might convert the stock management system to point and sale application, the post app. With that app, I'm going to make it a multi-vendor post application where you can have multiple vendors coming in to create their items and each of those items can be giving prices so when you're selling them out it will count how much you sell how much you bought and put them back in the stock so it's gonna do some accounting and stuff like that so that might be immediately after the to do app or I might decide to expand the to do app to be a fully functional or an enterprise task management system where your supervisors will log in, create some tasks and assign them to you and then the camera will keep counting down. So once it's getting closer to the end of the time and you feel like you cannot complete a task, you can request for time extension and within the same app you should be able to send files for review, uh, my task as completed. You can also have some cool little messaging features so that you can be communicating with your supervisor through that app. So we have some invoicing apps as well. That is a standalone invoicing app. So you can create a list of items for the client and then each of the item will have their quantity, the price for the quantity, and then it will automatically uh, fill in the blanks like how much it will cost for this list of items. So you can now generate invoice and print them out from the application and then give them to your client. So the same app can also do receiving. Once they make the payment, you can now hand them over the receipt. So we also have a lead management system that we're gonna cover in this channel. So with the lead management system, the staffs can uh, check how much leave they have and they can apply for leave and the leave can be approved and the system will type the message. Once your supervisor approve your leave, you can now print it or they can print it and then sign it before you proceed on your leave. So those are a few things that I want to cover in this channel. And if you're interested in apps like that, you might consider subscribing so that you will not miss any time we post a video. If you go to appcoms.com, there's a suggestion section where you can go in and add your suggestion. If you think of any app or want us to include any feature in any of the app, just go in there and then type in your suggestion. I keep reading all those comments or suggestions. So if I have any cool one, I can make a video out of that. So one of the comments was from Kenny Dima, if I pronounce the name properly, if not, please forgive me. And uh, he has been a good follower of this channel and a good supporter as well. So I've gone through your comments. If you're watching this, I've gone through your comments and that's the reason why I'm making that post application. So thanks for the comment right here. All right, so I think that's what we have for this video. So thanks and then see you in the next video.